Whoa. Hello everyone. Four weeks ago, I got this little baby here. And I already made like two videos on it. But then I was watching YouTube and I've seen Linus accepting a challenge running this card as a daily driver for 30 days. And he kind of inspired me. So I know like Linus, uh, this one was not your best ID. And I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do next is certainly not my best ID. But I think we can learn a lot of things from this experience. And I'm saying that because when Linus created this video about uh, switching to Linux for one month, I did the same and I never switched back to Windows. I'm using Linux on a daily basis. Um, yeah, you can see it here. I'm, I'm still like recording this video with Linux. It's a little bit shaky, sorry, I'm, I'm not used to that. I don't have the special tool. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I learned things out of this experience and I'm like, if I do this, maybe we're gonna learn things too. Maybe not, but at least it's gonna be fun. So that's it, that's all, that's gonna be the video. We're gonna switch to Intel Arc A380, not for 30 days, but for seven days, because, you know, I need to work too. I don't know how it's gonna go this whole story, but we will see. So let's go. I was mentioning it before. I use this card um, in my uh, streaming setup on a daily basis. I'm gonna show it to you. Here we go. That's the card here, you can see it. It's my streaming PC here. It's a Threadripper 2950X with a 60, 16 uh, gigabyte of RAM. There is two like capture card. There is also a 10 gigabyte Ethernet card in it. And this is my main PC. I made a video about it when I switch everything up, put the new case, the new Noctua fan. So here it is. So this is not a flex, but this is my PC 5950X with um, BDI, 32 gigabyte of RAM and a 1390, like you can certainly see it here. And what we're gonna do, like I'm gonna switch this card here and put it inside my PC and we're gonna run, uh, first we're gonna run Linux, okay, because I have two SSD here, was one with Windows installed and another one with Linux installed. So we're gonna switch card and we're gonna see if it works. Uh, I'm gonna also share my experience on Windows, see how everything goes. And for streaming, because I'm, I'm gonna plan to stream with this card. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see how everything goes when I go live with uh, Intel. But, you know, we might have some good learnings there. Uh, I'm planning to put this uh, 1080 Ti here. I don't know if you see it, yeah, it's here. The 1080 Ti in my uh, streaming PC here. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's uh, let's get into work. All right, so we're gonna start with the extraction of this baby here, the Intel Arc A380, and we're gonna put the 1080 Ti in this PC because I'm I'm planning to continue to stream. Uh, I don't know what's gonna work out, but I'm not letting this PC without any uh, graphic card. And as you notice, there is only like one eight pin like connector here. And for the other card, we need two. So I had to, to bring this cable here. So before I start the operation, don't make fun of my uh, screwdriver here. It's not a LTT screwdriver, okay? Linus, if you watch this video, we're gonna be in pain with the Intel Arc uh, graphic card. Maybe like, uh, you know, if you have an extra like Linus tech tip uh, screwdriver, uh, that would be great for a small uh, Canadian creator around. I would be better than that, that's for sure. Okay? Until then, let's go to work. Oh yeah! And voila! Intel Arc out. A little bit dusty, obviously, but it's out. Oh, look at this monster, guys. I love this card. Like, it's a old card, but it's such a good card.
I don't know, there is something about this card I really love. Um, maybe because that's the card I used when I when I won my uh, Escape from Tarkov tournament. I don't know, like I, I, I really love this card. Okay, so the monster is in. Boom! Okay, so this is done. Drag this baby back. Okay. One is good to go. Let's do the other one. All right, so this is phase two. We're gonna put this baby inside this one. Let's see how it goes. Oh, this monster. Um, it's always, yeah, it's always better to cut off the power before doing any of this thing, okay? Don't do like me. So this is gonna be a little bit harder because I need to press this button here too. Done. Yeah, this one is a tough one. Come on, dude. Oh, I forget something really important. Unplug the cable too. This, this could have been really bad. Here we go. The monster, boys. I, I really love this car. Okay, so that's the old one and that's the new one. It's like, <laughs> this is you and this is the French he told you not to worry about. Yep. <laughs> All right. So this card has a uh, free GP like port and one HDMI port. This is literally like what I need because I have free 1440p 270Hz screen plus the HDMI port we're gonna use to duplicate one on the screen for the capture card. So hopefully it's gonna work. I have no idea how it's gonna flow, uh, but this is this is a setup. Okay, so it's fixed. We just need one of those for this baby. So I'm not going to touch those one. I'm just going to plug this baby here and voila, all done. So as you can see, like it was not like such a hassle, I think, to, to switch. This card has a eight pin connector. So it was simply like, a, you know, like a little swap there. Um, this card has also like enough uh, port for me to run my setup on paper. I don't know if I can use all of them at the same time at the frequency I want, but I guess it's going to be a driver issue there if it doesn't work. But from a uh, you know, pure hardware exchange, it was not that hard. We'll see if this machine boot now. That's going to be the surprise. But overall, it's a success. Oh yeah, and uh, this card looks really small here, <laughs> like really, really small. Okay, here we are. So I started the streaming PC here, the recording PC. I'm going to use it to record this footage. You see, like the card is in, uh, it's working. I'm recording it right now through this camera. And now what we're going to do, I'm going to start this baby here uh, and see what's going on. So the idea is like, I have three SSD in this PC. I have one with Linux already installed, uh, Arch, and OS to be super clear. Latest kernel, latest like NVIDIA driver, everything is working well. And the other hand, I have a Windows 10 uh, hard drive. And the third one is just to, you know, like make some tests. So let's see like if, for example, like the Linux partition or the Windows uh, partition like just doesn't boot. 
with the new, this new like graphic card. I'm going to use the third uh, SSD to just like install like a, a new operating system and see how it goes. Okay, so our first attempt is going to be booting on Linux with the new Intel A380. So I've done nothing prior to um, you know the, the hardware installation here. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work uh, because the kernel is going to load the NVIDIA driver, but we never know. I want to give it a try. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Here we are. It's starting. Yeah, it's it's simply not booting, guys. So I should have made like some type of work preparation, but I don't think it's worth it because it's actually working with my over like uh, graphic card, and I don't want to tinker it too much. I'm really really happy about my um, Linux install there. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna switch to Windows and see if it starts. Okay. That's gonna be the second phase. And depending on how it goes on Windows, I'm gonna install like Linux on the third hard drive to give it a fair try also on Linux and see how the card works. Okay, but this is real life. This is this is what is happening if you just want to switch your card. On Linux, just does not work. Maybe if you come from AMG, but even though I'm I'm not sure. Okay. Windows, here we come. I'm wondering if it's gonna start. I'm pretty sure it will start. We are in Windows. Yeah, it, it just boot. You have access to your desk. Um, yeah, I'm not at the maximum uh, refresh rate right now, but it is starting. Which is pretty good. That's going to be fun. For sure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install the driver and see if I can set up like my multi-screen and uh, yeah, like just, just have, just have a, you know, like the basic experience there. All right, so we did install the graphic card and at this moment of the video, you're asking yourself like, Air Max, what, what did we learn? What did we learn? Well, it's a little bit complex than it looks. And if you think that we just learned that I know how to swap a card in a PC, okay, and that it works on Windows and it doesn't work on Linux, you're going to have the feeling like just I just wasted your time. But if this is what you think, I just totally fooled you guys. And when I say fooled, it's like a big fool. Like I tricked you so hard because you have to understand how it works here on this channel. It's a one man show, right? So at the moment I switch my card and I decide to use the Intel A380. I still have to edit my footage. I still have to go through the process of using DaVinci Resolve Studio and create the video. And I didn't cheat. This card is still here, which means like right now, the Intel is still in my main PC, which means like all the video you just watch was edited and processed, processed, yeah, processed or whatever, with the Intel A380, which is a 150 US dollar card. And cherries on the cake. If I succeed in my attempt, you are certainly watching or you could watch this video in 8K AV1 format, okay? Because that's my plan. I want to edit this all like 4K footage because this is a 4K footage into um, DaVinci Resolve and I want uh, to uh, export this video in AV1 codec, codec sorry. 8K resolution. So uh, like that was the plan. We'll see if it works. So I'm going to let a little comment in the in the video description. We will see if YouTube accepts it. Uh, we will see if uh, I was able to transcode it finally. 
with this card. And my next step for this experiment, because it's going to be a seven day experiment and we are day three right now, as I'm recording like this footage, um, I'm going to stream with the Intel Arc A380. So I'm going to do experiment live. If you want to watch it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also follow me on all the social media because I'm going to announce what I'm going to do. I think another video I'm going to make about this card is the experience I had editing uh, with a small card like that, really big like uh, video footage, see if it's actually worth it or not. And also I'm, I'm going to try to use it on Linux again, but for playing, not for transcoding this time. So I think I'm going to make another video on that. Okay. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to also thank all the people who support me through the membership program on YouTube, but also the Patreon uh, member. Guys, thank you very much and see you in the next one. Dude, I totally fooled you guys so hard. You didn't even see coming. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!